For the first time ever, high school students got to tour GE Appliance Park. Jefferson Town High Schoolers had a chance to see how their classes are preparing them for a career in manufacturing and engineering. We go to J-Town. We're in their engineering program. I'm here at GE and we went on a tour in the appliance park where they manufacture things in um, linear integration. And in, in my opinion, they're a bit more effective than Raspberry Pis because they're smaller. They showed us how they manufacture parts. Instead of getting them from outsourced places like China or India, they make them themselves here with raw materials they get from all over the world. The question he asked is, um, can a press make more than one part at a time? Uh, the answer is no. Each press normally makes only one part at a time. But you do have the ability to change molds from press to press. We witnessed a lot of things uh, from our school that we're training on uh, being used in a factory, which is really cool. It shows that what we're learning is, uh, is important. It shows that our program is doing the right thing, that we're moving in the right direction. Um, it shows that we have all kinds of jobs and opportunities available for us. We're not the only company in Greater Louisville that is expanding manufacturing operations. A lot of the stations you see are set up, designed, um, kind of to an operator or to a range of operator that it works with. With their system that they're giving us, it gives us more of uh, what you'll see in the actual field and gives you a feel of that. So you'll have that much of a more step into that. And it's not just throwing something new in, at you once you get into a business. On the surface, we say that all this growth is fantastic. But for those of us in the industry, the growth has brought major challenges. One of the most significant is the lack of qualified applicants to fill the demand for manufacturing jobs, and many of the pool of applicants are unprepared to be successful in a manufacturing environment, and perhaps unaware of the career opportunities that we have for them. They did say that they're having a crisis for it, but with this crisis, it's building up the workforce. It's, it's showing kids that they care. There's a lot of people that don't know these opportunities are available to them. And the programs like this are how private industry and nationalized systems like the education system come together and they work together for a solution that will essentially create an effect that we get a better workforce. Since you guys have linear integration are able to, to have more manipulation over the um, feed rate of your parts, is it more energy efficient since it has to be made at another factory with different energy standards and then moved all moved a, a distance so it could get here? Who's asking if it's more we have to, of course, start out with books and learn the math and everything, but going from that to applying it in, in class is, is incredible. I would much rather go to J-Town uh, than any other school just because we're working hands-on and it's, it can be applied in, in real life. I love the teachers and, and the teamwork there. It's, it's fantastic. We're, um, we're working together to solve all kinds of different problems. We're in a senior uh, project. I'm, we're, we're designing a table to, uh, to bring to market. Uh, we're going through the entire engineering process. It's a, it's a great time. It gives you a challenge every day. It's something new every time. I'm looking at three or four different colleges, and all of them you know, are, are in this field. And um, I feel like I have all kinds of oper you know, job opportunities available. I myself am on a good track, but to see this, um, it's it's um, it's working to where a group of people can do it. It's Raspberry Pi, but the Arduino arsenal is more diverse than the Raspberry Pi. 